If you want to be able to share files with everybody on your network, the first thing I would do is create a folder, like let's say the exercises folder, and then set the properties of that folder to be shareable. So anything I dump inside that folder, everybody else on the network has access to it and can view the contents therein. But again, it's only for that folder. They don't have access to anything else on my computer, which I'll show you how to share a folder in a later training video. But for right now, I want to show you how to access another person's shared folder that they have on their computer on the network. And the operative word is being network. As you recall in an earlier training video, to access the network, I have to open up the network folder. And there are many ways to do it, but the easiest way for me is to open up any folder on my computer, like, well, the exercises folder, double click, because over here in the navigation pane, there's the network folder. Click on it. Over here in the file list view, give it a few seconds for it to update and find all the uh, computers on the network or devices, and it lists them there. Now, let's say I have a coworker, his name's Jason, and he wants to show me a picture of his puppy that he put on the network. First of all, I gotta find his computer, and let's say that his computer or username is laptop. Double click on the laptop, and then we've got a couple of folders that he's sharing. Well, the folder that he's sharing actually is the carry folder. When I double click on it, well, there's the picture of the pooch. Double click, open it up, and aw, look at the puppy. In any case, when I'm done, close out. Let me go ahead and hit the back arrow once, and you'll notice that he has his folder, or the name of his dog, I guess, is carry, that he's sharing, and then he has over here the user share. Well, any time that you share a folder that's on your desktop, it's gonna open up the user share. Let me explain it this way. As you recall in an earlier training video, when you go to your computer, in the computer view you have your main hard drive, right? The C drive, double click. Then you have users that have user login names and passwords for this computer, double click. And here are the users on my computer, Dreamforce, Kershaw, and Training. Well, it's no different when you go to the network here, okay? And then I go to the laptop, Jason's laptop, and double click. Anytime you share a folder on your desktop, this double click takes me right to that folder on the desktop inside the folder and shows me all the files. Let me go ahead and click back. And because I went to the desktop, it opens up the hierarchical structure of the access to that folder through the users. Remember, we have the C drive and then you have the users, double click. So the users on Jason's laptop, well, his username is laptop. And then of course you have guest and public, but when I go to the laptop, he has the desktop folder. When I double click on that, it takes me to the desktop and it shows me only the folder that he's sharing on his desktop. He's got a bunch of other files and folders, but I only have access to carry. Double click because inside there's the pooch. So again, long story short, let me go back up here in the address bar and click on laptop DF to go back to where we started here. Anytime you share a folder on your computer, you're going to have another folder that says users, and it's going to show the hierarchical structure to get down to that folder that you're sharing on your laptop. See if this makes sense. If I'm Jason, I'm sharing Carrie on my desktop. He's got to be able to open up a hole through his computer for me to get to that folder. So double click, because if he blocks laptop, then how do I get from laptop down to his desktop to be able to get inside the Carrie's folder? So again, back up here, whenever you share a folder, it's going to open up the user share too, but they won't have access to anything else if that's of any consolation, or at least they shouldn't. Hopefully we don't come across any Microsoft bugs, but you want to test it just to make sure. And if you do come across it, make sure that you're always updating your computer so you get the latest updates and hopefully any fixes if there are network issues. Now that's one way, by coming over here and clicking on the network folder. Another way is just to come over here and click on its little arrow to turn it down and reveal, again, what you see over here in the file list view, the least of which is Jason's laptop. You can click and turn down its arrow, and there's the folder right there you can click on it and jump right to it. So there's more than one way to get right to the network folder, or at least the folders that are being shared on the network. You can do it through the hierarchical structure here, or just click on network, come over here in the file list view, and double click and start drilling down. Double click, double click, and you're right there. One side note is that, let me close out of here and open up any folder on my computer. If you come up here and click on the folder, it changes the address from what we're used to to the address that the computer reads to be able to access the exercises folder. When you get that, go ahead and hit the delete key and delete everything in it. And if you hit the backslash two times, it's the uh, key above the enter key to the right hand side of the keyboard, backslash, backslash. Down below, you can see after the backslashes, it will list all the computers and devices on the network, the least of which is Jason, if I go ahead and select his. And it takes me right to his computer, again, as we just been, to be able to access his shared folder, carry to be able to view the uh, Poochie there. 
if you don't want to be able to come over here click on the network and click to be able to turn down to access the folder and in fact perhaps up here you click on the in the command bar you click on organize go down to layout and you got rid of your navigation pane so I close out open up any folder and I'm like oh, how do I navigate to my network well just come up here and click on the folder delete everything hit your two backslash arrows and well you're good as gold you're right there Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for all my training, please visit me at my website, dreamforce.us.